over the weekend, I had my birthday and I had caught up with uh, sort of a few friends. And also I got to meet uh, a couple of clients from uh, one of my clients. And we were having a, a discussion actually about um, the the whole concept of the uh, the, the pickup and, and dating industry. And uh, he asked me a really interesting question question so I'm sure you're probably watching this I'll, I'll keep your name anonymous but uh, he asked me about where do I believe uh, essentially the line would be where a guy would become over obsessed with doing cold approaching and I thought about it for a moment and and I had essentially said like well the, the easy answer to this is when you are putting doing cold approach or just meeting women in general to date before any other important element of your life. That is that has to be where the line is drawn. So uh, he was like, oh, wow. OK, this is interesting. And, um, and, and I said to him, like, you know, being really, really truthful with you. I've known people over the years who they have missed like family birthdays. They have missed funerals. They have missed weddings. They've lost their jobs and their careers. Um, all and, and even like friends and family as well, all because they have just dedicated all of their time to doing street approaching and just to just to meet women in all sorts of situations. And I think it's kind of heartbreaking to even consider the idea that there are guys who would rather do that than spend time with people who genuinely care about them or want to be a part of their lives. And even especially to actually miss like really, really important days. Like I've also known people who've like missed like Christmas uh, with the family and stuff all because they wanted to like squeeze in a date with, you know, someone just to try and sleep with them uh, in a really short space of time. And I, and I do. And I think it's just kind of sad. Like that is some of the mentalities that, that men have that they would just rather put that, that desire to have that satisfaction uh, and that adrenaline rush rather than, um, you know, focusing on the finer things in life. Um, so I, I would say that is really where the danger um, uh, can lie in this and where like the over obsession can certainly take over that when meeting women um, overwrites the importance of any other area of your life, then that is where you do need to consider that maybe you are becoming a bit too over obsessed with doing uh, with doing cold approaching. So, is there a way to prevent that? Um, unfortunately, not, because every man is going to have uh, uh, his own line that he you know that he thinks he can cross and what he can't cross. So it's very difficult to also then say to someone like, "No, you can't do this or you can't do that," um, because if there's one thing that I have learned with this industry is like if you tell people uh, no, you shouldn't do that, they just want to do it even more. Um, so it, there is certainly, um, I think, an attraction to the taboo of like, oh, I, I, you know, I know I shouldn't, but I should do it. Um, so it really does come down to the responsibility of a guy who is going out and he is doing cold approach and um, and accepting that, you know, there is a level of addiction with getting good results uh, with people and also, you know, experiencing a euphoria that you aren't going to get doing anything else. But you just have to remember, like any other drug, this is uh, a drug in itself that you can develop an addiction to doing this. And if you do it too much, then that addiction is only going to grow and you're going to find it very, very difficult to kind of uh, break away from it. So if you are doing street approaching then you do need to have in mind either an exit strategy or you do need to consider like if there is a moment that you suddenly start wanting to do street approaching or day game over spending time with like your personal close friends and family then 
you need to take a step back and you need to be like, right, okay, maybe I might be over obsessing here. There are going to be people for you to meet and date. There's plenty of single people everywhere. They aren't going anywhere. It's not like there's a, a space race to who can talk to the most women or anything crazy like that. But you need to be sensible with it. I don't want to be hearing of stories um, of, you know, guys literally losing everything in the pursuit of just trying to uh, meet and date women. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. Uh, if anything, maybe watch the interview that I did with David. And he gives a really, really good um, explanation of like why, you know, he had to step away from listening to a lot of role models in the uh, the dating industry because, you know, over the years, he would actually ask the question of like, where are they now? You know, they're either broke, they've either got addictions to things or, you know, the sad scenario is that their mental health has completely deteriorated in some cases. Um, they have either taken their own lives. Um, I've known people who have and also I've known people who have like overdosed on things and have uh, self-harmed and have suffered from depression. And I've also had to counsel them and, and whatnot. And that is just what can happen if you over obsess with the world of pickup. So I, I really, I don't want to hear that, that happen. Um, definitely seek the support that you need. Um, if you do find that maybe you are going over the top and unfortunately it has to be you to recognize that. And however hard that may be to accept that bitter pill that you don't really want to sacrifice, you know, losing the opportunity of dating such, you know, attractive women and stuff your well-being is just as important. So if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on more content. And I also would love to hear your thoughts on this video too. So if you can leave some uh, some comments below, I do my very best to try and respond and answer to everything that I see as soon as possible. And I would love to have a discussion going. Um, have you been someone who has experienced the obsession over cold approaching in the past before were you able to recognize that soon enough and what did you do to uh to step out of that particular mindset or framework so i would love to hear your thoughts and um, subscribe and look forward to more content coming out soon